thought I'd start with uh, sharing with you a memory, a memory from when I was in high school. I think I must have been around 17, because I remember distinctively it was my second year in high school, uh, and I was following a class called The History of Political Ideas, Politisk Idé Historia in Norwegian. Uh, and we were to hand in a uh, written assignment. I wanted to do something on equality, and I told my teacher old man, or at least in my eyes. I, I don't know how old he actually was. I was 17 at the time, so above 30, I would guess. Uh, and he told me, that's a good idea, Hege. That's a good idea. And, but when you look for the women's contribution in the history of political ideas, you need to look very, very hard. You need to search, because they are often invisible, and they are often overlooked in the text produced about the history of political ideas. Uh, and so I did, and I handed in my assignment, and everything went very well. But what I wanted to reflect on uh, here today is the fact that, in my mind, as a 17-year-old, this was presented to me as an historical fact. This was how it had used to be. And I, in my mind, I categorized it as, alongside other facts from history, like how they did the aqueducts in Rome, or how we organized fisheries in North Norway from open boats, things that we have and ways that we had abandoned, things that we had learned how to do differently in order for the world to become a better place or more just or more, yeah, uh, and so forth. So I couldn't imagine me standing here actually today, 30 years later about, uh, and welcoming you to a conference where we actually discuss some of these same challenges, the same topics. So, but of course, I became a gender researcher, so I learned to think differently about gender than I did back at the time. I thought that if all individuals knew about this problem, even my old male teacher and everyone in society and in politics and talked about it, it would be changed. The world would change, but it's not so easy. So uh, I think what, what we know now, or what I know now, and what I guess most of you here in the room also would agree with me on, is that gender, of course, is not static. It is fluid, it's contextual. So this means that gender differences and gender balance will always continue to be important to do research on, to investigate, to analyze, to dive into, to explore, in its contemporary context. Gender today means something very different than it did in the 1700s or uh, back in the, the old days in North Norway. But it means something. It's a difference that uh, plays a role in human lives and in societies. So gender needs our attention and gender balance needs our attention. And this, of course, is exactly what the Prestige Project has been about giving attention to gender in our particular context, the UI, at UIT, the Arctic University of Norway, our academic everyday lives have been mapped, investigated, you have explored not only the overall patterns of statistics, I know we will pre be presented with some very interesting results today, both statistics, uh, but also you've gone beyond these uh, as for, for UIT's um, uh, sake, the patterns actually look rather good when you look at the overall picture. We have 40% women professors. We are proud of this, of course. But in the Prestige Project, you have gone beyond these numbers and looked into the details of disciplinary differences. You have used qualitative methods to, to uh, uh, dive into the understandings uh, existing at our university among managers and among uh, staff. Uh, and also you have explored concepts, the stories, the words, the, the, the ways we talk about gender and gender balance, about equality, about inclusion, and what this means, and how it can be understood, and what the consequences are. So I look so much forward to this day. I will follow most of it, not all of it. Uh, but I look so much forward to, to uh, listen to your presentations and learn more about the, the results from this project. And I'm so happy to stand here after. I know there has been years of work in this project and you have produced so many results that we will uh, be presented with today. 
congratulations to the project group. I'm so glad to be able to say that. Uh, and also, just welcome to everybody. Lean back. And I know we will have a very informative and um, interesting day. And I look forward also to the discussions, please. Thank you. Thank you.